All right, so we got a Wayfinder official early access development diary. Let's go to the video. See what this is about. We got a lot of videos coming to you guys soon. Plus, we got Comic Con. Uh, Spider Man trailers dropping. Laugh all you want. It's okay. Just don't make any noise. Huh? The developer diary. Hey guys, it's Joe and Ryan with Airship Syndicate, and uh, we are getting ready for our early access, which is about to launch. So, uh, okay, exciting times at Airship. Yeah, we've had a bunch of great betas already. We've gotten good feedback. Pax from East, fans, okay. Hey, when was Pax East? Taken it to the shop, made a bunch of changes to the When game, was Pax East? Hey, why did you guys invite me? Let me stop. Now it's your turn <laughs> to hop in, play the game, talk to us, and and help us get this game ready for the big time. We've been building this game alongside the community in a lot of different ways. The That's a good thing. And the most interactive way is through our Discord, which even in just a Bro, I don't have this. Well, I do have Discord. It's just I don't go in it. Members, which is insane, and just the amount of talent where people are making gifts and stuff. Oh, that's nice. They're and making arts and stuff. Even characters that weren't even released yet. Yeah, the community feedback from the playtests has been great. Uh, they've led to a lot of just like balance tweaking with like how gunplay works and movement speed and things like that. And we put in air dash. I think we reacted to a, a, a Wayfinder trail. Ooh, hold up. So we made it real. What early okay. access means for Wayfinder is, you know, it gives us a chance to let people in early so that we can start to understand what parts yeah so it's like beta testing okay to them and what they'd like to see more of okay and it can really help us shape Ooh. the experience before we go free to play and wide to everybody a live service game is pretty new for us and so we're learning how to do that at the same time we're getting all this feedback and it's actually been a really refreshing i like the design of like the little enemy i like that understand you know in real time what's working and what isn't and then we could be a lot more like productive and proactive about making the game better which okay is, is awesome for us is there already gameplay or no? Oh, it's free to play. That's We're a good thing. We're taking a page from the DE playbook. Free to play, as in free and fair. All characters, okay. all weapons can be acquirable through crafting. You could play all the quests. I like that. that haven't been gated I like that. By not including any loot boxes, not including any gotcha, if you want to have any component of the game affect your character, that is completely available to every single player across the board. Doesn't matter. I like that. Player, or if they just want to jump in, try it out, and, and experience the game for free. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Venomous. Venomous. I can't read. Venomous is our newest wayfinder. She is a spy and an assassin from this place called the Maze. Okay, so they she call the characters wayfinders. The okay. And technological advancements to make herself more powerful. Usually, when we start out designing wayfinders, uh, we we sit down and take a look at you know the concept for the character. Venomous's role in a party is supposed to be more of a support role. She's also a ranged uh, wayfinder, so ooh, hold up. she'll be supporting her team using heals and also ranged damage. But then she also has poisons that she uses. So hey, I can't lie, bro. Like, he, like heal, like healing characters in like video games are just cracked, bro. Able to deal damage even if she's not. Not, a, not all of them though. Let's be real, not all of them. But like, she uses poisons to to weaken her enemies. Basically, obviously, them slowly, and she kind of gets a kick out of that. She likes watching them suffer a bit as she toys with them. Venomous's signature weapon is called Nightshade. It's uh, our first burst fire rifle. Weapon. Whoa! And she wait. Diversity with weapons. Is she a support character and she's shooting like that? Versatile wayfinder we've yet created in that. Oh, she might be the most cracked one. I can't lie. Weapons and melee weapons. When she's playing with melee weapons, she has the ability to apply poison to many more enemies. This is a support character. So there's advantages there, but at the same time, you don't get the same. That you do with this is a support character. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I, that's okay. That's fire. So what makes that's fire? Is that. It's more than just a linear progression of rewards that you unlock. It's a bit of an adventure game of its own. So we're presenting it like a little isometric dungeon. And as you earn keys, you're going to be able to hit switches, solve little puzzles, get little bonus rewards. One great thing that our reward tower lets you do is when you purchase it, it stays with your account. It'll always be there for you when you come back. Hmm, okay. Because I know some games don't, don't do that. Since the start, all right, let me find out. And our founders packs are our first step towards doing that. Today, we are excited to announce that the base founders pack not only gives you access to the game, but also to founders season one's full reward tower, including the brand new Wayfinder Venomous. I can't lie, Venomous might. Hey, she seems tough, bro. Not only give you access to the game, she seemed really cool, bro. But also founder season two. Other things such as Wayfinder tokens to unlock. Oh, he thinks he's him. Pets, mounts skins housing decorations and so much more 
The Exalted Pack is for our most okay. supporter. It contains a permanent account-based progression boost. I can't lie, these these skins look pretty cool. As well as a heroic version of a fan favorite, Kairos. This will never be sold again and is only available in this pack. Bro, I look at the color. Really oh my god. For all of us as we carve the way through I am a sucker for the color, bro. Become for everyone. So Content progress, roadmap. Look forward to uh, two early access seasons. And we'll be adding new Lost Zones, which will come with new creatures. Ooh, Menace. New, hunts, uh, new group content. There'll be new Wayfinders, new weapons, new progression systems, including Awakening and Radiance levels. And there'll be uh, new traversal methods, too, including mounts and a hookshot. So for free to play, one of the biggest features we're going to be adding is neighborhoods for player housing, which I'm really excited. Neighborhoods? It's really going to bring the community together and take the social element of the game. Okay, no, nah, that's okay. I've I've never seen a game that did that. I've never seen a game that, that made neighborhoods in a game. Bringing you guys for early access. The team here still relatively small, especially for a game this ambitious. They put a lot of work, uh, a lot of themselves into this thing, a lot of passion. We're now ready for you guys uh, to help us build our dream game yeah so join our community at playwayfinder.com see you guys in early access thank you all right okay well listen best wishes uh to wayfinder i'm pretty i, I don't know if we like react to like a, a, a trailer from them yet or, or something like that if we did we did if we didn't we did bro we, we record a lot of videos so if i forget you know we forget but at the end of the day you know i always want to wish like especially like you know small development teams um you know, just good luck on their stuff. Because at the end of the day, you know, um, I won't say a lot, but at the end of the day, you know, some development companies, when they're new, I don't know if they're new or not, but whenever a development company, they have like an idea and, you know, they need support behind it. You know, people are willing to like come through and just like, you know, support them, whatever. It's pretty cool. Um, and like you said, you know, their, their team is small. So, you know, hopefully they can go through and make this game a success. Um, and listen... <laughs> I tell you guys this all the time. I'm sorry for my chair squeaking. It just squeaks. But yeah, uh, I tell you guys this all the time. You know, if, if you are in a development team or whatever, and you're watching this video, I tell you guys all the time, bro. Listen, you have to be there for your community, and your community will be there for you. There's a lot of games, a lot of you know, popular um, development companies out there that have these big, massive games, right? And they just don't listen to their community. I'm not saying do everything your community says because you know, at the end of the day, you know, I can't lie. Um, some gaming companies no sorry no some game titles community uh are not the best people to listen to does that make sense or no i think that should make sense you know i'm not gonna say any names because i don't want anybody to you know to, to to you know to come from my neck but um there are a lot of you know gaming titles uh communities that should just you know that should just calm down <laughs> because i'm the, again no names none all I'm saying is sometimes, you know, there's some things to where like, you know, you look at your community and be like, you know what? Okay, I should add that. They're saying I should fix this. Okay, I can, I can fix that. But you also have to put your foot down and be like, okay, I actually want this in the game. Uh, da, 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 da. The community wants this, but I don't want that. So I'm not going to, you know, it, it's kind of like, you know, just playing like tit for tat, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's my advice to any, you know, small developer out there, you know, that wants to go crazy and like create their own game. And, um, and yeah, man, comment down below. What do you guys think of Wayfinder? Hopefully, you know, they can get the game uh, off and running. You, you never know, bro. It, honestly, it looks good. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see. Other than that, see you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And.